Hey guys, so last day of SWAT school and the very last day of Lieutenant David's long career of teaching SWAT operators, you know, SRT, whatever uh, people call their teams. So everyone's about to go on a, uh, an op, uh, you know, a mock up, mop uh, op on a uh, house, hitting a house, going for a suspect, uh, real houses that they haven't operated in. So the teams are about to do that. Um, and it is kind of a special day because Lieutenant David's last day running the SWAT school. Uh, and he's taught a lot of people from all over for a very long time. So these guys are going to be tested very hard on trying to keep everyone safe. The goal is to go in and no shots fired and apprehend violent felon suspects, whoever they got a warrant for, uh, etc. and so forth. People need to realize that. Uh, you got to deal with uh, partially non-compliant people, completely non-compliant people, uh, people that were combative and then, then become not deadly and, and all kinds of stuff. And that's what they're trained to do to make split-second decisions, microseconds, and people don't understand that. So, um, done a lot of training in this house, and now they got to go in somewhere they're unfamiliar with, I believe, is what's going to go down. And, um, yeah, you know, it's been... Uh, it's been an interesting week, so here we go. Right here. Everybody's got to have a motivator. This one's mine. Good morning, guys. Good morning, morning sir. sir. Any gills? Any gills? No, sir. Good morning, man. Good morning, Good morning, morning sir. It's been a hell of a week, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but a good week? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're about ready to uh, be done with this and go out and fight crime and, uh, and do a couple of good things for the Lord and uh, uh, evil and good. What side are you on? Good. Good. If you don't know that, if you don't remember that, if you don't keep that in mind, four or five years from now, you'll be so fed up with all this mess that you'll get out of law enforcement. you got to keep your focus on who you are and what you are about. Uh, David and I go back a long way to Atlanta and shooting and getting shot. Uh, these guys and these instructors, uh, and put it all on the line for you all, and this is why I still do what I do. I'm reserve. I retired and still active reserve, teaching, training, SWAT. Uh, Thank you. I cannot quit because with what you all are facing and the intensity, and you stepped up to the plate not only for law enforcement, but you stepped to the plate and another step to do SWAT. And either you're SWAT or either you're not. It's just that simple. How many of y'all are adrenaline junkies? If you don't raise your hand, you're full of shit. What in the <laughs> world would you be doing on SWAT if you didn't want to go to the gunfire and you didn't want to get into the shit? But what you've got to do is you've got to do it smart, guys. You've got to live through this physically and you've got to live through it politically. You've got to be ready to make that tough decision, and you've got to be ready to make that decision correctly. You've got to fight smart. You've got to take all this training, and you've got to just soak it in, and you've got to be able to understand and make those decisions in life. How about uh, letting your buddies down? One of the most important things that you can possibly do is not let the one you down beside you.
honor for them to come over here in God's country, and we appreciate it. Um, again, got a lot of folks out here, thousands of years of service to not only our state, but our nation, and we appreciate it. So I'm going to turn it over to him for just a second, and I'll take over. Thank you, Sheriff. I've had the opportunity to have met David before, and i um, just excited about the range being named in his honor. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Word, word on the street. Word, word on the street is that uh, they cut a deal to get rid of you. They named the rain. <laughs> that might be rumor though. I think the sheriff's going to talk about that. I just wanted to thank you for your 40 years of service. I appreciate your family, Rita and the kids, for supporting you. What you do is important. You know, treat it as important. You all are in the toughest profession in the world right now. Not, uh, I just wanted to thank David for his service and his family for their support. And uh, wish y'all all the best in the future. So God bless you. And when we came here and when Lieutenant Adderhold was brought here, you and your team have built this facility and you built it bigger and better than it ever was. The thousands of people that you have impacted, not only in the state, not only in this nation, but this world, because you have trained thousands of hours of people in what you've done. And uh, we are proud to rename the Barrett County Sheriff's Office Range, Lieutenant David Adderhold Range. They ever got a group number? That's a whole team, three three groups. Clarkston, hurry up! What are you doing? What are you doing? Hurry up! 